The first breath was always so important. I was so tiny, and my little lungs fluttered desperately to suck in the air I needed to live. Live. I was alive again. After having rushed through the vast emptiness of the universe, formless and thoughtless, as I searched for a new vessel, I was alive again. I felt the cold air hit my fragile skin, the bright lights shine behind my eyelids, and heard my own screams. This was my starting point, and I'd only grown from here. laughter and tears, the softness of bedsheets beneath my fingertips, yet softer was the fur of a black cat, its face round and eyes green, the yellow collar on its neck jingled at the, every silent step of its paws. Blistering cold of winter, wind blew in my face and froze my nose and ears, its snow blinding white. There was a growing magic in the air as the reds and greens of holly were hung on porches and jingle bells blared through the mall speakers. There was always an uncomfortable throng of people rushing around me as they desperately searched for gifts for their loved ones. In the rebirth of spring, the smell of pollen was always in the air as flower petals landed safely around me. It was a guessing game of when the wind and rain would freeze my skin once more. My umbrella would be long forgotten as I surrendered myself to the water pouring down, each droplet leaving a refreshing streak down my face. Warm would turn into hot as summer rolled by, the sun beating down against my back. There was a strong whiff of the ocean and the high-pitched squeal of children around me. I would be lifted off my feet and swung around as I giggled wildly, before eventually being tossed into the water below. Nights were hazy as thunder rolled and lightning flashed. I watched the sky, entranced as the light danced among the clouds. And eventually, fall would come. Oranges, browns, and reds surrounded me. Pumpkin spice in my nose and down my throat. Bats hung on every wall and scarecrows were mounted into the ground. Halloween night was always noisy. The air filled with screaming children, only for laughter to erupt from them in the same breath. I would experience these things again and again. Though they became mundane as I grew and then shrunk into old age, it never made them any less special. Each shaky breath I took was another glorious reminder that I was still there, still alive. My wrinkled fingers smoothed every expanse they could, treating each touch like it would be the last. I found my heart longed for the days my fingers would run along the black cat once more. Before I knew it, my time was up. My heart, once so strong, had begun to fail me. My lungs fluttered to suck in more air, and I could feel my brain shut down. Once more, I was becoming thoughtless and formless as my spirit began ebbing its way out of this body, taking the memories and lessons of this life with me. I was alive, and then I was dead.
Lightly gasping for breath, I hold on to life. Life. It's what created me in my mother's womb, and it's created me in thousands of different lives before. I succumb to my senses and let the once resided blue hues turn into a white stream of light. I softly clutch my mother's hospital gown with my chubby little fingers. I know I'm safe, at least for now when the air is still warm and I'm still coddled and adored. I know these affections don't always last for forever. It's the first sign of spring, with buds on trees and damp morning grass. The old life is still fresh in my memory and I cry out in disdain. I wish I could hold on to it forever. I know I'm here to learn, here to experience things I've yet to experience, and love people I've yet to love. I remember the seasons, the blistering cold nipping at me, hissing, biting, begging for warmth. These cold wintry nights would soon turn into three months of soft breezes, cherry blossoms, and a new age for rebirth and revitalization. them now, I think I see them in a different light. While some used to bring dread and distaste, I can now see the beauty in them. How weather can impact mood, and mid cycles can impact attitudes. Faces of people I once knew fade slowly in and out of me in waves, but they'll visit me when I'm dreaming. There was something that used to be mine, a name I used to call my own and a family that used to reside in my home. I want to so desperately remember, trying to cling on to any last memory of who I used to be, but that's in the past now, and that's up to wishful thinking. I'm here now, in my new body and new life. I've wished upon many stars and moons, and I've endured many firsts that mirror my current ones. I used to want to remember, but now I think it's just better to forget. Over time, I forget that there was another life I lived before my own. A part of me feels like this will last forever, but I know I'll have to do this process over again. I will long for more past lives and faces I can't seem to remember. But I'm safe here. So when I lift my heavy eyes to the bright world before me, I know I belong. I do not long for something that used to be mine. I do not wish to seek what I have it already. I am an infant, wrapped in warm blankets and placed gingerly in my mother's hand. I am protected, and that's all that matters at this very moment. There is no longer disdain, there is no longer pain. My soul is old, but I am new, and in this moment, 